But I wanted to show you now a little bit about gunpowder, its, its general uses in other kinds of ways. So let's take another little bit of our fuse. I'm going to use two bits of it uh, this time. We're going to just burn it as it is in the open. And you can see that if you make gunpowder into a paste with starch or something like that, you can then put cord through the middle of it and make it into this stuff we call quick match. So you see it burns at a fairly steady rate, it's fairly predictable. If on the other hand we put it in a tube, obviously you're increasing the pressure and to some extent you're increasing the temperature. So the question is how, how long does a piece of that take to actually get through there and uh, you'll see for yourself, I'll put it into this clamp. The problem of course as you realise with this lecture you're getting more and more smoky as you go along but uh, there we are. So how long does it take to get through there? Well, not long at all. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so basically you can see how in fact the firework industry lights lots and lots of little fireworks all together uh, with match made like that. So we're going to do some other things with it now just to try and illustrate how these things work. So if we were to control the gunpowder and put it into, make it into a manufactured fuse then it will behave really quite well and very reasonably. So let's take two examples of that to start with. Sorry it's a bit slow but I just have to be careful. <laughs> Slows the box. So let's first of all now take a tube like this which is six millimeters in diameter and it contains about 25 millimeters of gunpowder. Now because it's in an open tube and because it's been well compressed, it is the fuse of a star shell, we know that it will burn at a steady speed and we know that it will burn about two and a half seconds. Might be better off moving to this end really. And uh, two and a half seconds is about its burning time. But notice because it's a very powerful, extremely powerful gunpowder, you notice, notice the height of the flame, <laughs> you see. So that's all you need to get a, a shell two or three hundred feet in the air because it's gone and it's away. So gunpowder in its early days created a lot of problems and particularly for the miners in, uh, particularly in Cornwall and uh, there was a man called Thomas Bickford who decided that it was no good using the old method of setting off gunpowder charges in the mines which was to fill a quill with gunpowder and then of course you light the quill and it's wet in there, damp and then suddenly of course you get a hang fire, it doesn't go off and then the miners go back and of course that's the time it decides it will go off. So Bickford invented a machine whereby he could produce a fuse which was a slightly slower gunpowder going through a system like this with cotton wicks going down inside it as well and then he covered it in, in pitch on the outside. Nowadays of course it's covered in plastic as you can well imagine. But you can see how steady it is. Again you can predict always what the time is going to be. 